What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again. Today we're taking a look at the S2R Baton 2 from Olight. Look at this, you just turn it on like this and you can melt your face off your body! What's up guys, we're doing a quick unboxing of the S2R Baton 2, the new green one that they just put out. I really wish Olight would stop making different colored flashlights because I don't feel like buying a rainbow every single month. Now, I like this, it's nice, it's a nice sweet green, metallic-y green color. I wanted to get one, just to change up my pocket EDC for a little bit. So what does it come with, what does it do? All right, so this is your standard S2R Baton 2. And what does it actually have inside the box? Let's see, it comes with a lanyard, comes with an extra uh, clip, so you can clip it on your pocket or wherever. Um, comes with the charging cable, comes with a little bag that you can put it in. Of course, the instructions. And with this particular light, the instructions, we'll tell the obvious, but here we go. Alright guys, so we're going to do some of the different lumen outputs. Now let's check this out right now. We hold down the side button, it's going to go to the 0.5 lumens mode, which has a runtime of 60 days. 60 days is a really long time for any flashlight to run. And let's jump it up to the 15 lumens mode. Now you can actually start to see it in the background, and that has a runtime of 100 hours. We're going to jump it up again to the 120 lumens mode that has a runtime of 14 hours, and that is relatively bright as well. Now we're going to jump it up to the 400 lumens mode and that has a runtime of four hours and then we're going to jump it up to the turbo mode one two and we've got turbo mode it's 1150 lumens and that has a runtime of three hours and 52 minutes oh and of course if you want you can triple click the side button go right into strobe that's pretty sweet and if you want to do lockout mode you just hold down the side button for a couple seconds there you go It'll flash and then the side button won't work anymore. See? Just does that little thing where you can't really see. It doesn't do nothing. Then you hold it again. And you can turn it back on. You're good to go. We're just gonna do some beam shots. So here it is on high. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Not bad at all. Put it on the low lumen setting just for a second to see. Not super, super bright, obviously. Not supposed to be. It's the next mode. The next one. The next one. And then it goes back down. And then turbo. So that's not terrible at all. I like that. So we're about, I'd say about 60 feet, 70 feet from that tree line over there. Actually, no, sorry. Now we're about 70 feet from that tree line. Not too bad. Nice and bright, this is on turbo. This is the 1150 lumen mode. I really wish that Olight would make um, an auxiliary red light on one of their pocket EDCs because that's just something I love Olight products, but I really think that that would go a long way. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about throwing an auxiliary um, red light mode on these for uh, just for low light settings or just for eye saving your eyes sight at night. Um, the 0.5 lumens is excellent. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Um, but maybe having like a 10 lumen or something for a red light mode on these would be sweet. Just add an extra light or something. I know it's a lot to ask for. Sorry. Sorry, Olight. But this is my first 
uh, S2R baton. So I'm new to this. I'm new. I'm new to this one. I'm, I'm usually keep my pocket EDC. I usually have my S. Oh, what is this called again? Yeah, <laughs> S1R baton too. And you can see like the difference between the two. You know, it's like basically a whole flashlight distance. You know, difference. It's like. You know, so yeah, this is that's what they look like. And the beam shot side by side with a turbo. I mean, you can you can tell this one's a little bit brighter, but not too much brighter. Obviously, this is thousand lumens. This is eleven hundred and fifty. So you're going to get a little bit of difference in the beam itself. So guys, now that we've taken a look at all the technical specs. Do you really want this light? Well, is it worth its money? Because it's $75 on Amazon right now because you can't buy it anymore on the Olight website. Well, you can buy this actual model, but you can't get it in green anymore because this was a limited edition. So if you want to get the limited edition one, they have it on Amazon right now for 75 bucks. Go on over there and pick it up. So if you want this, I think it's like 65 something, 65, $70 on um, the Olight website for the regular black version of this. So let's talk about the pros and cons about this light. Like pros. Number one is the runtime. It has a ridiculous runtime. When I did my runtime test, guys, when I did my runtime test, I let this bad boy just run and run and run and run. I got over 10 hours of usable light out of this light from start, from when I put it on at 1150 lumens, turned it on, let it run, and just let it naturally drop down. I got over 10 hours runtime with this light dropping all the way down to the 0.5 lumens when it was about to completely die. And then the recharge time only took four hours and 19 minutes, which was pretty darn impressive considering the fact that, you know, you're charging, fully charging an 18650 battery. There are fast chargers out there that will, will actually charge them a lot quicker. But for the one that came with this light, it charged it in four hours and 19 minutes, which wasn't bad at all. So another pro is the output. The output for the lumens, 1150 lumens for a pocket EDC is good. It's good. I mean, the um, Baton Pro is coming out or came out and that's 2000 lumens. Eh. It could, you could take it or leave it, no big deal. You know, run times obviously differently because you know, you're know you using up more power, but I'm happy with 18650, I'm happy with 1150 lumens. Do I have a Baton Pro? Of course I have a Baton Pro. Everybody should have a Baton Pro. But I am satisfied with my S2R Baton 2 because of the way that it functions. And one of the functions are the 0.5 lumens, which is just perfect for when you need to just do something up close and personal. And then the 1150 friggin' lumens of blind your friggin' family members and friends. That is impressive, guys. So no matter where you go, you're always gonna impress people with this crazy amount of light. So that's a plus right there. And also another pro is the size. It's nice, it fits in the palm of your hand. You can conceal that. You can throw it in your pocket. It's got the nice little blue clip, optional blue clip. It comes with the clip, extra blue clip inside the packaging. I didn't expect that and I thought that was really cool because I like the color blue and I like the color green and I just like all the different colors. Olight keeps coming out with tons of different colored stuff. So there is something for everyone with the Olight products and I love the S2R Baton 2. One last pro I wanted to add for you guys is the high CRI 70 LED that's inside this light. It makes everything that you're illuminating look like it's natural color. It doesn't add any tones the, to it that it shouldn't have. So when you're looking at something, you're looking at the actual color of whatever it is that you're looking at instead of looking at whatever color uh, Olight decides to throw in there for the warm or cool. The high CRI, that just makes everything that's illuminated by it the actual color that it is. Let me see if I can get a normal tint light. There you go. So you get that normal like medium tone to it. You can actually see all the colors that are in the background of this. So it's just something to think about whenever you get a flashlight. High CRI LEDs are the way to go. And now the cons. I couldn't think of any guys. I really couldn't think of any. You can't mess this up. This is just a perfect little EDC flashlight. I've been using it for over two months and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It's always been loyal, it's always been active, it's been usable and I've had no problems and I love this light. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to you and until next time guys, stay prepared.
If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please feel free to smash that subscribe button now and click the notification bell so that you can get notified each week when new videos come out. New videos every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This has been The Prepared Guy, and until next time, guys, stay prepared.